All right, here we go with study link 3.9, number sentences, and this is everyday math, fourth grade. And today we are learning to use number sentences and tell if they are true or false. Or sometimes if they give you something that you can't tell, you can put a question mark. So let's look at the first one we have here. 20 minus 12 is equal to 8 times 3. Well, let's see here. 20 minus 12 is going to be... 8, 8 times 3 is 24. Those are not equal. That is false. Moving on to the next one over here. <clears throat> we have 7 is equal to 14 times 2. Well, 14 times 2 would be 28. And again, 7 is not equal to 28. So that is also false. Next up, <clears throat> we have, this would be red, 497 is less than 500 and that is a number sentence and it is true and I think you can keep going with these um, the only tricky part might be 33 minus 4 that is not a number sentence so we write question mark we can't say if it's true or false <clears throat> then write two of your own. So maybe I want to say, um, and please don't use the same as me, but I'm going to say, let's see, 12 times 3 is equal to 40 minus 4. And maybe I want to do one with a greater than. So let's see, how about I say... <clears throat> 6 times 5 is greater than 5 plus 20, and that would be true. Then I make a false one. <clears throat> so again, anything that's not true. So um, 100 times 3 is less than... 50 times 4, that is false, right? <clears throat> because 300 is not less than 200. So write two false number statements, okay? Why is 7 times 8 not a number sentence? Well, because <clears throat> there, it can't be true or false. There's no equal sign, and there's not a product there. So those are all reasons why that is not a number sentence. How could you change it? Well, you can add something to make it into a number sentence. And then how can you make a false number sentence? Well, you could write 7 times 8 is equal to something that is not true, that is false. Or 7 times 8 is less than whatever, just make it false. And finally, down here, what do we have? Uh, we're trying to figure out a rule. So this one, the first one, it's skipping a spot. <clears throat> so you've got to try to figure out what might go in between to figure out the rule. So maybe I'll just try something. Why don't I try plus 10 as a rule? That would give me 34 and then 44. That can't be right. So maybe I'm going to try something a little bit more. <clears throat> until I figure out the rule. Down here, it looks like this one. <clears throat> we have two beside each other. We could probably just do 162 minus 108, <clears throat> and that's going to give us what we added for our rule here. And then you can figure out the rest of them from there. Um, yeah, so that is it. This was home link. 3.9 for Everyday Math 4th grade. Thank you very much. Bye.